Hello, this is Roland. Today I want to continue talking about finding a, a prayer space for yourself. Your own personal prayer space. I couldn't help but uh, go to Google search and uh, a lot of times when people are thinking of prayer space they're thinking of um, a little place in their house or you know a little corner somewhere. Well you know it's, that's okay to have a little place you can go off to be by yourself. Sometimes it's the bathroom. That's where you can go where you close the door and you can be alone. Okay? To, med to meditate properly or to pray or to meditate properly which is the same as prayer which I'll get to um, very shortly. But when I say prayer space I mean um, within. Prayer space within. Now let's talk about uh, that. Let me begin by reading something to you. It's a quote, very f uh, well. Known. Maybe it's not so well known. The the man is well known, Victor Frankl. Victor Frankl, a doctor. He was uh, in the concentration camp, a concentration camp in uh, Nazi Germany. He's a Holocaust survivor. He survived the death camp, Nazi death camp. He wrote a famous book called Man's Search for Meaning. Anyway, here's the quote, because this quote is very, very um, germane, very important, appropriate for the topic of uh, prayer space. And here's the quote. Between the stimulus and the response, there is a space. In that space is our power to choose our response. In our response lies our growth and our freedom. Let me read it again. Between the stimulus and the response there is a space. In that space is our power to choose our response. In our response lies our growth and our freedom. Okay. Now when I say prayer space, what I mean is actually to find that space that he's talking about there between the stimulus and the response where you stand back, mentally stand back, and you have the freedom to respond appropriately. If you bypass that little space, if you immediately react, immediately take umbrage, immediately become resentful, immediately get angry, immediately judge how quick we are to judge, immediately get upset, let's put it that way, immediately become emotional, immediately react. When you immediately react, you bypass that space where it is your freedom, and then your freedom is gone. Then you become a conditioned animal to react, to get upset. See? Just like animals react to their environment. Okay? How many of you have remember a time when you said something that you wished you hadn't said? Maybe after you said it, the moment you said it, you knew you, you shouldn't have said it. Or later, you saw it. You, in that moment of anger, judgment, resentment, see? upset, to defend your pride, you said something that uh, you can never take back, it'll never be forgotten, you wish you hadn't, see, said that. Well, okay, so the other thing is a lot of us are, comp a lot of people are compulsive, they don't have any freedom, see, the average person is not free, he thinks he's free or she thinks he's free, but he's not enslaved by obligations, enslaved by compulsions and drugs, thoughts, emotions, worries, responses, see, enslaved by resentment, okay, so the way not to become enslaved, see, and then enslaved by the reaction, the the uh, the sim symptoms that it, that then follow from our reactions. You get upset all the time, and eventually it's going to show up as what? Fatigue, high blood pressure, blood sugar, 
stomach aches, headaches, you name it. A whole laundry list of things to, that upset resentment, anger, hostility, rage, suppressed anger contribute to it. Okay? So you need to find that space. Okay? Now there may have been times in your life when you, you did have that space. When all about you, people were upset about something, but somehow you remained calm. And uh, it was beautiful. You remained calm. You did what was right. See, you found that space. Well, you need to find that space all the time, so that you, so that you stop reacting. Like an animal, stop being enslaved, stop saying and doing the wrong thing, and instead, stand back, and then respond with, with patience, with kindness, with the right word, with just the right action. Okay, just the right action. See, life is very subtle. There aren't enough books. See, it, it's nice to go and study. You know, I mean, you read this and that, and you know. You need to have a, cer a, star a certain stock of, um, of vocabulary and so on. Okay, Just like me for all the books that I write. and I've written so many books now. I've got another, another, a new book that just came out. A Brief Introduction to Stress Management Principles and Practice. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. You really should get it. It's on Amazon. But I've written many other books. So I, I need to have a basic vocabulary of, of psychology see physiology I need that basic vocabulary to write those books and and I write about uh, re religious and spiritual things too so I need a certain um, metaphysical vocabulary I need to be able to use such words to communicate okay but after that then um, the good things that come from me come fresh okay not just regurgitating what somebody else said. Okay? So, it, it, you know, it's okay to study, um, to learn some things. Okay, but, but if you look to outside authorities and to books and to experts, see, for, that, for the right answer in that delicate moment, it's not going to be there. Whatever you bring forth, whatever pre- planned thing you have or pre-learned thing or memorized thing that you have it's going to ring false the timing is going to be off the the other person will see that you don't have love okay but if in that space between the stimulus and the response see you stand back and then in from your intuition wordlessly you just say the right thing you just know what to say somehow intuitively gut level see well that's moment by moment it's actually moment by moment guidance from God see you didn't know that he gives us uh, intuition he gives animals instinct he gives humans intuition which becomes conscience it feels like conscience when you don't follow your intuition and do the wrong thing so would you like to be close to your intuition see so you can realize the right move and so you won't make the wrong move. And so you can be less stressed. And so you can be free. Would, would you like that? Okay, well, that's what my meditation helps with. Exactly what Viktor Frankl was talking about. Between the stimulus and the response, there is a space. Okay? In that space is our power to choose our response. Okay? That's where you're free. Now, a lot of you, okay, so you need to get my meditation. Okay. Not just any meditation. See, most meditations are more of the same. See, what we do is we, we mess up. We, we bypass that delicate moment when we, we would have been free to, to pause and then to do the right thing. We quickly bypass that and we judge. We become angry, upset. See, we say the wrong thing and do the wrong thing. And then, after the moment, then we see that we know, we sense that we messed up. So what do we do? We hide. 
we escape into thinking, into thought, into imagination. Down there we relive the past, see, with regret or trying to rearrange the past, or we plan for the future. Well, next time I'll say this, and when she says that, I'll say this, see, or we, we, um, we worry, plan, scheme, or we escape into daydreams and fantasy to escape from seeing the truth about our failure in reality. See, just the way people just the way people use television or texting or drugs or marijuana or alcohol or sports, shopping or food, whatever they see people people misuse can misuse anything. See a human being is capable of misusing any natural thing in order to escape from see in order to preserve pride, save face and not admit that they're wrong. See, but some people love the truth and at some point and they love they have love for other people and they see that they're failing their husband their wife their child they see it because of their resentment or their anger or their lack of understanding they wonder how in that moment couldn't I have why couldn't I have just been sweet with my child why did I have to become hard and mean why and the child is asking the same question. Why couldn't mommy have just understood? See, so then some of us compensate by being by going overboard to uh, be permissive and too nice to cover up. Well, that's not good either. So you've got to find the, the measure. See? You've got to find the right, the perfect response the right measure. There's not enough books in the world. That's what I began to say earlier and never finished. There aren't enough books in the world to tell you how to deal with that delicate moment with your son or your daughter or your partner. See? You need just-in-time guidance from your Creator. See? By way of intuition. His light which you encounter in that space between the stimulus and the response. So so here's what you need then. You need, okay, so I said earlier, not just any meditation, because most meditations are more of the same. See, we're in the habit of escaping into our thoughts, into our fantasy. Most people send, most of them spend a huge amount of time lost in fantasy, daydreams, imagination, planning, scheming, worrying. Okay, so you, you don't want to do that. You want to do just the opposite. Instead of escaping into thinking or into fantasy, you want to stand back. Stand back from it. Okay, and when you stand back from it, when you take a mental step back from it, you have found that space that he, that Viktor Frankl was talking about, between the stimulus and the response. You can live your whole life that way, from that space. You you must find that space. The Viktor Frankl was talking about between the stimulus and the response is a space. Okay, you have to find that, and you have to live from that space. See, flow from that space. I can't emphasize enough the, uh, the value of having the meditation. You can start with a free meditation, see, which I talk about all the time. The free um, easy meditation, I call it, or the free prayer meditation, I call it. Start with that. It's free. See if you can find that space. Okay? and start to live and move and have your being from that space. My name is Roland.